How's it going everyone? This is Tom with RedmondPie.com. Today I'm extremely excited to make this video because a very, very cool jailbreak tweak has actually been updated today. It's a jailbreak tweak which actually lets you connect PlayStation controllers, specifically the DualShock 3 and the DualShock 4 from the PS4, that's the update today, directly to an iOS 7 device so that you can play iOS 7 compatible controller games with the PlayStation controllers. The tweak itself is available on the ModMyI repo, it's called Controllers for All, and it's actually going to cost you one ninety so not extremely expensive at all and it's very very simple to set up the DualShock 4 to work on your device we're just going to go through it now. First of all you will need a controller itself of course this is just the PS4 controller the DualShock 4 that actually came with my PlayStation 4 system alternatively you can just go out and buy one if you want to use this it's actually a lot cheaper than the dedicated iOS 7 gaming controllers currently available on the market so it's a win-win situation. Next up once you've installed the tweak on your iOS 7 device this is going to work with any jailbroken iOS 7 device. First off you need to ensure sure that Bluetooth is actually turned off on your device so just go into control center and make sure it is toggled off uh, just there. It uses a, some sort of different Bluetooth system so that will kind of interfere with it. Then just head into the settings of controllers for all and make sure the uh, selection is on PlayStation 4 selection. Next it will come up with a message so you just press the PS button and the share button at the same time. Your controller light on the back should start flashing very quickly and then you just get this message. It will say controllers for all great success your controller is now paired. This means you just simply have to go into a game with iOS 7 compatibility. There will actually be a list linked in the description and also on the post over on redmondpie.com and that will outline a few of the games available uh, for iOS 7 that have controller support. I'm going to be testing it here with Bike Baron. You simply tap on the application, obviously just open it up as normal, and you'll get a couple of notifications. This says initializing Bluetooth, press the PS button, so you just uh, go ahead and press the PS button on the controller you've already set up, and then you should get connected to controller, and then you'll be good to go. Within the game that you're playing, just kind of work out the controls. They should just be pretty self-explanatory. For example, in Bike Baron, the X is go, and then you uh, control the... Uh, orientation of the rider with the directional buttons to the left and uh, yeah that's pretty much it you get brake as well for square and it's fully responsive there's no lag input or anything like that so very very impressed with this jailbreak tweak it's a great purchase for just two dollars as i said it is available for 199 from the mod my I repo it comes for ipad ios 7 compatible devices so on ipad it's going to be a fantastic experience if you have a jailbroken ipad on ios 7 hopefully you have enjoyed or found this video helpful if you did drop it a like it really helps the channel so Subscribe to Redmond Pie TV if you want to see more videos just like this one. And as always, we'll see you next time.